Max Cavalera here in Juliet, Illinois, showing my uh, arsenal, my weapons. This is the prototype uh, of the new guitar I design, which is a Reaper. It was designed by uh, me and Chris Canella in ESP. We got together and designed this. Supposedly is a mix of, um, like right here, it kind of looked like a warlock. And then here it looks kind of like an exploder. Those are two of my favorite models of guitars, the exploder and the warlock. So I decided to combine both of them. So idea pretty much was if the, the both, if the explorer and the warlock fucked and had kids, this would be the bastard kid out of that relationship. Uh, right now, um, we got Seymour Duncan. That's uh, the company that works with ESP. So mostly ESP guitars come with Seymour Duncan. But I'm also talking to Lace pickups. So I might put some Lace in the future because they want to endorse me so that should be pretty cool they actually made a, a, a soulfly pickup looks killer and i loved it and um i just gotta put it in the guitars but for right now this is good you know they were good but i'm gonna try lace i think lace is where the future ahead lies um sit yeah i've been with sit now for 15 years like one of their oldest guys i do all the sessions on nam all the signings Always SIT signings are like official, you know, it's killer what we've done with it. Uh, Dave Allison, uh, the last one we did was with the Devil Driver guys and the Cold Chamber. And I've done a couple with the Lamb of God guys. So, yeah, SIT is great. Good, really good strings. I like to keep as simple as possible. This one actually came with, with, with more than normal. Like, normally it's only one knob. And uh, so I don't even use any of this shit, you know. I just like to have one one volume knob, which is the other one here that came out. Yeah. So this is the prototype. That's the first one they made of the Reaper. This one is the signature. Camouflage, beautiful camo. I love camo, as you can see. I wear camo all the time. Fucking camo addict. I love everything camo. Camouflage, everything. I got camouflage boxers. I got camouflage, guitar picks, and guitars, of course. And, you know, they look great, man. This is kind of like a, um, this is kind of like a de desert camo, I think. Mix of, of urban, because urban is this color. So this is a little bit more more sand. So it's kind of like, I think this is like desert, kind of like between desert camo and urban camo. But. This is a beautiful guitar. Seymour Duncan, one pickup, one volume knob, which is all I use. As simple as fucking gets. The Soulfly symbol inlay. And it's neck true. Look at that beauty. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> and it's got my signature right there on the top. Yeah, this puppy is a, it's a signature, man. It's like takes year and a half two years to make one of this and uh, when they come I just I can't wait I'm so super super excited for it you know uh, I'm making one right now with the uh, hopefully Brazilian flag one and we're doing another uh, color of camouflage um, and we might do one with Archangel I think the cover of the album on the guitar so that should be pretty cool now we we'll move over to Rigs. Good old PV. 6505. Killer fucking sound. I love that thing, man. Yeah, that's, that shit's awesome. Awesome, awesome. Been using PV now for. A, I'm, I'm probably the one of the oldest guys uh, that's been with PV. We met Mary PV at one of the NAM shows. She was very nice. You know, I just love their stuff, man. It's it's high quality shit. Great. You know, it works. Um, you can get it anywhere in the world. We get it in Europe, uh, South America, and this two that I bring on tour with me. You know, we got more at home. We got the like, camouflage ones too, and triple X and all that. This is the Auto A. I use that for high dramatic parts of the show when it goes. 
because when I hear this thing, the whole fucking place just goes, ah, you know. This is, this is the loudest pedal I ever had. And this is a super flanger. Just for, for, uh, for the tribe moments, for the jams. We use that in the jams and uh, so Fly's got a lot of this cool little jam session. I think that's what sets us apart from all a lot of the other metal bands. And so we have one on Tribe, we have one on No Hope No Fear. Um, we have a little bit a little parts on uh, on, on uh, Fire. Um, so many songs has like these little interludes and little jam parts that every time there's a little jam part I throw most of the time I throw a flanger in it. Just kinda makes it a little bit more ambient it's like really cool um, especially on the on the uh, on the tribe jam which is kind of like a reggae jam literally so it's kind of like the, we took the ideas from, from the bad brains actually because bad brains was mixing hardcore and reggae in a really cool way they would play like you know they'll play a hardcore song and then they'll play a reggae song we decided to do it together in the same song so it's a metal song tribe is like a metal song but in the middle of the song it turns into a, into a reggae jam which is really killer it brings the whole takes it to a whole it's like dynamics you know the show has dynamics i, I love that and i think it's so cool to have that um i think it sets us apart like i said from the other metal bands because we have this kind of crazy uh, tribal jams in, in the set this is my mic stand. This is actually put together little by little. A gas mask I bought on an army store. Bullet belt from Europe, from England. And the, the skull guy I got it at Walmart. <laughs> and the, the soul guy symbol fan made that for us. This thing, it took a beating, man. So many times it had to be replaced and broken. Like when fans jump on the stage, sometimes it's just like, you know, the whole thing falls down. And then Kenny has to fix it. But it's holding good now. You know, he's a good guy. What's up? This is Mike from Soulfly. And uh, I'm going to show you all some of my guitars and my gear that I use to move earth with my tones. Uh, got my ESP F Series 405 over here. I've been using this bad boy pretty much since I joined up with Soulfly. It's actually the first time I ever played a uh, five string uh, live, so I'm kind of getting used to it, but it's really nice. I got uh, SIT strings on here, uh, 125s to 45s. They're stainless steel, so they get a little bit more brightness and crunch out of them. They last a little bit longer too, I love them. Got some EMGs in there, standard with the bass. And uh, got a backup, pretty much the same thing, just for uh, you know different tunings. You got your master volume here, uh, pickup selector right here, and then your three-band EQ. You got your highs, lows, and uh, our highs, mids, and lows. Got my mids pretty much right up in the center. Lows are blasted, highs are blasted all the way. Um, both pickups are active at all times, and the volume right here, I kind of roll off. You know, full force for most of the songs and like the riffs, but when we do our reggae jams and stuff, I kind of roll the volume back and get a little cleaner tone for like reggae jam vibes. So, all in one, man. That's it. I use uh, Line 6 Wireless on both systems for uh, easy changeover and stuff like that. So, the Line 6 comes into the board right here, moves into the Polytune pedal. I love these things because they can tune all the strings at once for like in between songs when there's only like a few seconds to sip some water and tune all at once. You can strum them all at once and see which ones are out and just do quick adjustments. I like that a lot. And uh, for this tour we've been using these drop pedals that actually they drop down your, your, your whole tuning digitally and we're all tuned to B standard and for the first half of the set we tune to A. So this little guy comes down, it kicks down basically a whole step and, you know, replicates it. It's kind of strange for me to get used to, but it's pretty cool. I like playing in B normally, like standard B is a lot of cool tones for me. And then out of there goes into my microtubes, dark glass. This is my secret weapon. I'm going to have to censor my, my knobs so y'all don't take my secret weapon, but uh... It's cool. It's from Finland. Um, 
I used to play a Sans amp for a long time from Tech 21, but I got a hold of these things and it pretty much changed everything for me. Um, I've been rocking that solo the whole time now and uh, it's been sounding thunderous, so I'm really excited about that. And uh, as far as amps go, I got my two heads over here. This is my main I've been trying out. I got this bad boy at NAMM. This is the PV Mini Mega. It's really sick. It's got a lot of good uh, mid control. You can cut and, and boost from right here. So you don't need like a, uh, like a full-blown graphic EQ. Um, I don't really ever ride with the compressor. I don't know why that's on there, but... A little bit of gain, no compression, boost the lows. Got to dip out some of the mids and boost some more different mids to get that really thick tone. Got a little brightness coming through with the highs. I don't really use the Cosmos too much on stage, but it's cool to mess around with when I'm chilling at home, you know. Not much, you know, volume. I got the VB3 as my backup, just in case this one doesn't work out, but it's been working like a charm. I played tons of shows with this thing too, it's super reliable, a lot of power, and um, I play everything through this cab right here, standard PV810, it uh, shakes the stage nice, it's real good for me, it keeps me on time, and just in case I don't need a monitor or I don't have a monitor, I still have plenty of volume coming through this bad boy, so never really a problem, and then over here, I kind of... It's got my Dunlop Crybaby Wah for a couple songs in the set like Carved Inside and uh, Back to the Primitive. There's some stuff for the Wah and just for goofing off in between songs. And I got my Sennheiser E935. This bad boy has been sung through by many legendary singers and it's pretty sick that I get to sing into it every day. So it's nice, you know, it's got a really compressed sound even though like I scream really, really loud, but our sound guy manages to make it work, so it's cool for me. And uh, it's pretty much my rig, man. Hope you all enjoy it. Peace. Yo, what's up? This is Mark Rizzo from Soulfly, and this is my rig here. It's real, real simple. This is my new Washburn uh, Parallax seven string guitar uh, signature. Love this guitar. This is like the best guitar I've ever played. It's obviously like a Les Paul shape. Uh, except it's a seven string neck through uh, AMG pickups which are my favorite it's a real simple uh, heavy sounding guitar so crazy about this and then as far as uh, effects and stuff I really I really just go straight through the head it's really nothing too uh, complicated I got a wah pedal over here that's really uh, one of the effects I'm using with Soulfly just a wah pedal I play uh, GHS strings um, seven string set. I think the lowest string is a 64, the highest is uh, 11. So it's not too thick, but not too light either. And again, everything's real simple here. I'm not, I'm not really uh, into a lot of pedals. I like just going straight through. So I'm using the 6505 PV head, which in my opinion is like the best head right now for metal. A lot of guys are using it. So I'm really about the PV6505. And as far as other effects back here, I just have like a chromatic tuner, uh, Rocktron Hush. Sometimes I, I also have a Boss um, Hush. Every once in a while I might throw in a delay through the sem return, but this tour I haven't really been doing it. I've just been playing straight through, no delay. Uh, and then this pedal is probably the most important pedal for Soulfly that I use. It's uh, the drop tuner pedal uh, through Digitech because we do different tunings. We have a lot of songs that are in A, and then we have another set of songs that are in B. So uh, what we'll do is instead of switching guitars, I like to just keep the same guitar on all night. And uh, what we'll do is we'll just hit the pedal. This will drop me down to A. And then um, when we need to be in B, it puts me up to B. And then we have songs also that are in D. So if I'm in drop A, then I just go to my D right here on the, uh, the sixth string. And I can play all those D songs. And then the same for E. You know, I'll drop the pedal up to, to change a you know, whole step up. And I got my B here, and I got my E right there, and we can play, uh, you know, the entire set of Soulfly songs, old Sepultura songs, all the different tunings. So this pedal really helped us with that because before we had this pedal, um, you know, I, I'd have to travel with like four guitars all over the place. So now, you know, two guitars, a main and a backup, and I'm good to go. So.
What's up? Zion Cavalera from Soulfly. I'm the drummer. I'm going to show you guys my kit. Um, first off, I'm playing with Vic Fritz Sticks. Um, I use Extreme 5As and I also use um, what are the other ones? Uh, 3As. Let me check. Um, yeah, 3As as well. I like to just switch it up. I'm, uh, I'm young, so I'm just always trying new gear out. Um, I play D drum drums. This is a Reflex series. Uh, they just sent me this for this tour, so I'm just getting used to it, but uh, I love it so far. D drum makes great quality equipment and uh, super easy to play. Um, this is a 12, this is a 13, and this is an 18. Um, I'm not sure how deep because I just got it, but uh, I told them to send me some deeper drums because Soulfly, the music is uh, super heavy, and I, the, all the kids I had before had like not as deep drums, so I told them to make sure to make them deep to give it that heavy sound. Uh, these little patches on top are uh, the company Slug. I don't know if they're around anymore, but uh, they make these really dope uh, patches that like make the heads uh, like stay in tune longer and make them last longer. I recommend those if they're still out. Um, on my snare, it's a uh, brass snare D-drum and uh, I put a Kevlar head. It's a little bit, it looks a little bit busted but uh, it works It works just fine and um, it gives it a different kind of bounce that I couldn't find with any other type of head. Um, every company makes them, Remo, Evans, uh, Kevlar head, you should get you one. Uh, they play so great, they give it a crack that you can't find anywhere else, and crazy bounce. Um, cymbals, I play Zildjian, um, they're honestly the best, they're like the oldest company out of all companies known to man, so they've got their shit on lock, um, and I just love everything they make. Uh, this is a Thrash Ride, this is a uh, A Custom 19 inch, and this is a uh, Power Ride. I'm a little bit low on cymbals right now, but uh, I definitely love to switch out cymbals and just keep trying shit out. Uh, I'm super young, so just in the process of uh, trying trying different stuff out. This is a piccolo snare. Um, I use this only with Soulfly. I also play with Lodi Kong, who's on tour with us right now, so I'm doing two sets a night. But uh, this guy I only use for Soulfly because it's really, it's like, gets cool with the percussive side of things. and. Uh, you know, it just helps me uh, stay different than just your average drum set. As you can see, it's a pretty small kit, um, but when you watch me play, I think it, or when you hear it, when you hear my work, it sounds like I'm playing a bigger kit just because I've got so, ma so much energy and I'm always moving around, trying different stuff out, um, and just being experimental. So, yeah, Iron Cobra pedals. Um, I asked for a 24 inch kick, but they didn't have that at the moment, so I got a 22, but. I always just prefer bigger drums, um, and yeah, you just you know throw your blanket in there and uh, grab whatever kind of pedals. I use Iron Cobra. Um, I'm still in the process of trying shit out though, but everything feels nice to me. And uh, yeah, man, that's my stuff. All right, what's up, guys? Uh, Zion Cavalera just finishing up for Soulfly. Um, make sure you check us out on all the social medias: Facebook, YouTube. Uh, Twitter and all that and uh, come check us out on tour we got two weeks left uh, West Coast and uh, go check out Archangel the new album thanks